Hi, my name is Dr. Ferdinand Nweke, and this is Truth in Brief, where I share with you life-changing insight in just a few minutes. And I believe that the word for today will be a tremendous blessing to you. I'm reading from Judges chapter 16 and verse 22, just one verse of scripture from the life of Samson. Uh, I, I do hope that you know the story of Samson, but even if you don't, you will still be blessed and encouraged. Judges 16 and 22. But the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. But the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. This is the story of Samson. Samson was a deliverer raised by God. And Samson had gone through all kinds of things. He had made all kinds of mistakes. And in the immediate context of this scripture... We are told that the, the, you know, this was when Delilah was used by the Philistines to discover Samson's strength and that his strength lay in the covenant represented by you know, the seven locks of his head because Samson was a Nazarite. And so the Philistines shaved off Samson's hair, but the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. They had shaved off Samson's head, they plugged out his eyes, and these guys were now using Samson to make all kinds of sport. But the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. Samson had made some very terrible mistakes, very serious, you know, errors and blunders. He had broken his Nazarite vow. He was sleeping around with prostitutes. He had gone through all kinds of things. But the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. You see, the hair on Samson's head represented his covenant with God. But the Philistines shaved that hair and they forgot that that covenant can grow again. But the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. I perceive the Lord is speaking to you from this verse of scripture and it's the word of restoration. The Philistines thought they had finished with Samson and that now that they had shaved his head, they had plucked out his eyes, they had put him in chains and in captivity, that was the end of the matter. But the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. They didn't realize that God was a God of restoration. That God could restore a broken covenant. That God could restore someone that had given up hope. Someone that had fallen by the wayside. Someone who had committed adultery. Someone who had gone through all kinds of things. Someone who had broken his vows and broken his commitment. The Philistines did not know that. If they knew that, they would have kept a barber perpetually beside Samson. And they would have kept on, every morning they would shave off his head. But what the Philistines shaved off began to grow again. I perceive the Lord is saying that what the enemy thinks that he has removed for good, your prayer life that seems to have gone down will grow again. Your covenant of righteousness and holiness, walking in the presence of God, that seems to have scattered because something happened in your life. Maybe in your family, in your marriage, in your business. But the hair of his head began to grow again after it was shaved. And you know what happened? The Bible says that Samson, they now put Samson to use him to make sports and to celebrate. But they forgot the covenant was being restored. And scripture says, Samson asked the lad that was leading him. Show me the pillars. And Samson prayed the prayer. He said, oh God, let me die with the Philistines. And he pushed on those pillars. And when he pushed on those pillars, the Bible says everything came down and Samson accomplished more when he died than all through his life. Why was that so? Because of restoration. God is going to restore your covenant. Don't give up hope in your walk with God. No matter what has happened, that scripture rings in my heart but the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved what the enemy has shaved can grow again if it's your covenant with god your ministry that seems to have died some gifts of god that seems to have disappeared because of a broken covenant god can restore the hair of Samson's head began to grow again after it had been shaved god is the god of another chance he gives us hope he brings restoration and as you open up your heart to him, I want you to have great expectations because greater days are ahead in your work with God, in your service for the kingdom of God, in your family, in every area of your life. You just need to cry out to the Lord like Samson did and he is able to turn things around. Don't forget that statement. 
but the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been saved. And i like to pray with you before I leave you. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy thinks that he has quenched for good, Father, bring a restoration in the life of my friend, watching truth in brief. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you.